Hi everyone, I'm Josh and welcome to Josh Wright Piano TV. I'm excited to announce my first ever physical product on this channel, these black stretch velvet music desk covers. These will protect your piano from the music being placed on them. These are the high traffic areas of your piano. So I've got the music desk and then the two side pieces. My sister sewed a music desk cover for me about 10 years ago and many of you have asked, Will she sew me one? And she said, absolutely not. That was such a pain. So about a year or two ago, I teamed up with a local seamstress and she helped me to design these and we've come up with some different models. Today we're looking at the Boston Piano by Steinway. Um, so this is the next tier down from Steinway and one step up from Essex. What we're going to do in this video is we will take apart the, take the cover off We'll measure this music desk in case you have an older model and you'd like to check to make sure that the measurements will fit your piano. And then we'll put everything back on and kind of show you how to assemble things. So to start with, we'll just pull this off, slides right off. We'll pull these side pieces off. Those just slide right on. Now, you're going to be able to tell there's a little bit of a curvature up towards this right hand right here. That's going to go... As you can see on this Boston, it curves up, but there is this bar in the way. So we did our best with the measurements to make that as seamless as possible. And it looks pretty good once it's on. We'll, we'll take a close up. Actually, let's just do it right now. You can see this side. This is on purpose, this little edge here, because that's gonna slide under this bracket here. So it's, it's not meant to go all the way to the side, but you can see this just comes down ever so slightly. So if you order one of these and you notice, just get the higher edge and then sloping down to the lower edge. All right, the next thing that we'll do is we will undo these three pieces of Velcro on the back. Those slide over, this, this little slit slides over this adjustment bracket. Okay, and then we can pull this off. So let's take a few measurements to start with of this music desk cover. We'll measure the sides first, and I'm actually gonna have you do a close up here um, because these measurements are a little strange. So we're gonna measure to this back bar right here. So that is right about 10 inches or 45 and a half centimeters, and just slightly more, 10 and a half inches or 46 and a half centimeters on the far end. And then from here to here should be eight inches or 20 centimeters. So that covers your sides. Again, remember on the side, you're not going to this thin part. You're gonna go all the way back because there wasn't a way for us to make it to where it would slide on that way. Okay, we're gonna take a few measurements of this. So from the base, 37 and a half inches or approximately 95 centimeters. From the top corners, it's 32 and three quarters inches or approximately 83 centimeters. And maybe from the skinniest part where it curves in like this, somewhere in the middle here, about 32 inches or about 82 centimeters. So, the, oh, and then height. Um, this is 10 and a half inches on this side. This is about nine and a half inches over there or 44 centimeters. Sorry, in the middle, we have 10 and a half inches or 56 and a half centimeters. So that gives you an approximate idea of the size of the music desk. To reassemble, again, find the high edge over here, and that's going to go on the outsides of these. Okay, just going to slip this on, and I'm going to slide it way over just initially until we slide it back on here because we don't want the fabric to get caught on that little cutout right there as we're sliding it into that little slot on the piano. We'll do the same right here. Okay, we'll slide it all the way over. Then I like to slide the music desk back onto the piano. So we'll just put this right here. So these satin finishes tend to scratch really easily. So especially if you have a satin finish, these will definitely help to protect your piano. It definitely helps with high polish ones too. I've had both types of pianos and I've had music desk covers on both and it definitely helps a lot. So, all right, that's there. You will notice some seams in here. You can just adjust those to wherever you like them. I, I tend to like them along the back edges so you can't see them. Um, so as you can see, those fit nice and snug. 
Now we have our actual music desk cover. We have a front side, which is solid, and then the back side has all that Velcro on it and that toggle at the bottom right here. And we'll go over what that does in just a moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna drape this over just somewhat loosely. And on this particular model, I like to, you're gonna have a seam running down the side here. I like to tuck that seam to the back. I like to actually take this material here, and I like to tuck it under that, slide it around a little bit. And so the seam's actually back here. What that does is it makes it sit nice and flat on the music desk. I'll do the same here. So we'll do that first. And then I will undo this. I will slide this through, make sure this Velcro is undone as well. Okay, and then I just redo these Velcros, refasten them. Just like that. Okay, now the music desk is on. That's a little weird right there. Let's get that a little better. There we go. So the music desk is on, and from the front, it looks really nice. But if you want it extra tight, what I like to do is I like to come back here, and this is a tightening toggle. Make sure that you never slide the toggle off the cords completely, because then the cord can retract back into the music desk cover, and it's a huge pain to get that back out. So I just tighten the toggle, pull this nice and tight, and then I just set this extra cord down around my tuning pins. It's never interfered with anything on my piano. Then you can make some final adjustments. If you see any little tiny creases, you can just adjust those out since it is stretch velvet. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to order this black stretch velvet music cover, it is available on my website. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions. One last thing I forgot to mention. Each of these covers comes with a Josh Wright piano woven label sewn into the inside seam of each of the piano covers. Lastly, I thought I would show a few pictures of one of these music desk covers installed on my own piano. If you have any questions, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com.